Father in heaven, we bless your name. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the praise, all the majesty and the dominion. Lord, unto you we gather to reveal secrets to us. May our hearts indict a good matter. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Champions, shout fire. fire. Shout Ururu. Shout Muzuzu. Shout Mafura. Shout Onction. Amen and amen. amen. We want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also we want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. How many of you watched our Papa in Zambia today? Amen. Amen. It was a glorious meeting. I was watching it. I don't know if you did, but it was a glorious meeting. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Now, let's stand to our feet, if you don't yes, mind. Sir, sir. Let's walk up to 10 persons yes, sir. and say to them, I love you so much. Yes. And it's so nice to see you in church. Yes. I walk by faith and not by Not my power, no, by mine. If you believe it, help me sing. Come on, say I can do. You can call me Superman. Come on. Hallelujah. Well, the Spirit of God lives inside of me. Now, I want to talk to you about something. Yes, sir. Something very, very important. You yes, know, sir. because sometimes people, I was talking to somebody earlier on today, and that was what prompted uh, what we want to talk to you about. Because yes, after sir. talking to the sister on the phone today, the Lord said, I I'd like you to discuss it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, people receive prophecies yes, sir. Yes, sir. of what God is going to do for yes, sir. them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And of course, sometimes some people think that um, since the prophecy has not come to pass yet in their lives, mm -hmm. then chances are the prophecy was false. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, of course, some people see visions too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then they expect that what they saw in the vision should have happened by now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And because such things have not manifested yet, they think that uh, probably it was just their mind playing tricks on them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or something. Yes, sir. They were beside themselves. But that is not true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I hope you understand yes, sir. that prophecies are not visions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are three kinds of visions. Yes, sir. You have a spiritual vision, which is the lowest. Mm -hmm. You have a trance, which is the higher form of vision. Yes, sir. Spiritual vision is when you close your eyes and then you see something. Yes, sir. That's the lowest form of vision. Yes, sir. Trance now 
is when your physical body and organs are suspended. Just like when you fall asleep and then, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you know, the Bible says Apostle Peter fell into a trance and yes, then had a vision yes, in Acts chapter 10. Okay, so that's the second level of vision. It's higher than the first one, spiritual vision. Yes, sir. When you close your eyes and then you see. The third, which is the highest vision, is called open vision. Open vision. Where you are fully awake. Your physical senses are not suspended. Yes, sir. You know exactly where you are, yes, but you are in the vision. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, in that open vision, mm -hmm. there is a high degree to it. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. highest degree to an open vision is called Mara. M-A-R-A. Yes, 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 Mara. Mara. And in Mara, you become a participator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've given you an example of one of my visions to heaven when the Lord told me, uh, I was living in Skytop then, Pastor Christian, Pastor Eunice, they all lived with me in Skytop. But I was living in Skytop then before they started living with me. And the, the Lord spoke to me as I was studying my Bible after the 5 a.m. prayer. Then we used to pray 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Yes, so after that, I was just studying my Bible around 9 a.m. The, vo the voice of the Lord said to me, go to bed. And my reading table was just in front of my bed because I was living in one room apartment. So I just went to bed. The moment my head hit the pillow, I was caught up in a chariot. And then of course, we went to heaven and the Lord showed me different things to see. But the unique thing about that vision now is that when the angel was bringing me back in the chariot, he dropped me on 14th Street in New York. Yes, yes sir. By World Trade Center. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I live in Seraville, yes, New Jersey. Yes, sir. yes, sir. But he dropped me in 14th Street in New York by World Trade Center. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Physically. Yes, sir. And before I could say, but this is not where I live, he was gone. So I spoke. I said, ah. Well, I don't even have any money. Then I heard his voice. He said, check your back pocket. Yeah. So I saw money there. Yeah. No, actually, he, he said, check your back pocket. I saw a metro card. Yes, sir. Wow. Then I went, walked to the part train. Yes, sir. Physical. Yes, sir. Yes. And I swapped, took the part train to Penn Station here. Yes, sir. Yes. Then I took the 67 bus yes, sir. to Sarahville, Old Bridge. Yes, sir. And then I walked home. Yes, now, it was a beautiful vision in heaven, mm -hmm. but I wasn't too pleased that. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he drop me in? Yes, sir. Yes. Halfway. 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 Yes. Far away from home. Yes, sir. So I got to the front of my apartment. Yes, sir. And because I was inside the house, yes, sir. so the door was locked yes, inside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I said, ah, see now. The door is locked from the inside. Then I heard the voice of the angel again. Mm. He said, check your back pocket. My God. So I said, before I do, why did you do this? He <laughs> said, I want to let you know you are not just seeing just a vision. You are participating in it. Wow. Then I brought out the keys. Mm, yeah. Now, I didn't have the keys. Mm. I was actually wearing boxers inside the house. But this time around, I was now wearing jeans and a shirt. Mm. Then I opened the door and I entered. You see, that was a matter there for me. Yes, yes, sir. But it was a matter because I was a participator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Participating in the vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you can have a vision of eating chicken, and by the time you came out of the vision, you see bones, bones. in your house. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's a matter. It's yes, a higher sir. degree of open vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the, the point here we want to communicate here. And, and I hope you know, visions are not the same as revelations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Revelations are higher than yes, visions. Sir. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation is called Revelation. It's not a yes, vision. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I think we started discussing a lesson on the difference between vision and revelation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I have not finished it yet. Yes, sir. Now, what I want to make you understand is this. You may have had a vision, mm -hmm. 
that this is where God, this is what God wants to do. God has shown you a vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, my barrier, I've told you many times, I, I saw my barrier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in the barrier, I saw my casket, I saw everything, I saw yes, the people that came. The angel showed me. See, that was a matter for me. Yes, then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a matter. I saw, I saw the parties. I was looking at them. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. So that's a matter. Yes, yes, sir. But here's the point. The thing here is people receive visions, no doubt. Yes, sir. But they think that because they had a vision, what they saw must come to pass immediately. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. Yes, sir. It's true. And, and that's not how it works. Yes, sir. A vision that you see can be the complete opposite of what you saw by interpretation. Yes, sir. It is one thing people don't know. It's true. Yes, sir. When Apostle Peter saw, had the second stage of visions, mm. trance, yes, sir. of seeing four-footed beasts, yes, yes, sir. animals, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and the angel said, kill and eat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, I've not eaten anything unclean. Mm. It was beast he saw. Yes. But the interpretation to that vision is the animals there on four foot were people. Yes. Non-Jews. Yes, sir. Non-Jews. Yes, sir. So you, you need to understand that there are different variations. Yes. Yes, you know, sir. somebody asked me last week, ah, Brother Ozzy, you, you, you see, with the things you see, what is it about sin? And I said, sin is not the thing. Is the ability to interpret what you see that's the most significant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Otherwise, whatever you saw is useless yes, sir. Yes, sir. if you don't know how to interpret it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was telling somebody just a few days ago, I said, Today, typically, when you see yourself, if you go to bed and you dream that you saw yourself in water, usually the indication is that there is marine spirit around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the person said, But that's what it is. I said, It's not necessarily. I said, first of all, because the person told me a dream they had. I said, the water, was it clean water? She said, yes, clean, like swimming pool water. I said, then that's not marine spirit. Wow. It just means prosperity. Wow. Yes. Amen. She said, really? She said, she said, so why do people say? I said, because they don't know. I said, but if you had a dream and you saw yourself in muddy water, dirty water, yes, like that, it means hardship. Yes, it means suffering now with yes, you. Sir. And it means that from the moment you wake up, the next three days, from the third day after the dream to the next 21 days, you are likely to make choices that will put you on the path of hardship. Wow. That's just what it means. If the water is not clean. But if you had a dream, you saw clean water and all that. That's prosperity there. Yes, but sir. when you woke up, you prayed against it. Hey. And you see why you are still poor. Yes, sir. You prayed against it. Marine spirit, leave me alone. Marine spirit does not even know you. And by the way, you don't even have what marine spirit can be interested in. Do you understand? Your neighbors don't even know you. The city does not even know you. And yet, marine spirit is not interested in you. He's Satan. No. Study the Bible. The people Satan attacked in the Bible were rich people. Job was rich. Yes, King David was rich. Yes, sir. And then Apostle Peter, because he was following a successful man, Jesus. Yes, sir. And then Judas Iscariot, because he was following a successful man, Jesus. Yes, sir. These are the caliber of people yes, Satan attacks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you don't have anything. It's true, sir. To even pay your rent in apartment 2B <laughs> is trouble. Yes, sir. You live in a house where even your neighbor can tell when you're having sex. Yes, sir. You don't even have money to pay. Yes, sir. <laughs> And yet, you see, Satan is after you. You know the car you have, you only drive it during the day. You can't drive it in the night. Because the only one headlamp is working. And if you drive it in the night, police will stop you and give you a ticket. And the ticket now is more pricey than the headlamp that you did not buy. Yes, sir. Now. Here's the point. When it comes to visions, 
you need to understand that, like we said, it doesn't necessarily mean what you saw literally mm. is what it means. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let's even suppose you knew what you saw mm. in the vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why has it not come That's to pass thing. yet? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. First of all, there are many reasons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why, sir? Because if the vision that you saw is connected to people, there are time, there are individual time yes, sir. is factored into that vision. Oh. So even if you are ready, they have not been they may not be ready yet That's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and that can delay the vision okay. yes, sir. till when the time oh. is fulfilled yes sir wow. yes sir i get it sir yes sir and how come you didn't even have the brains to know that wow it's true when what you saw was not only about you wow. what did the lord say to abraham when he gave him a vision he said uh, he said uh, your, your children will inherit the land of Canaan, yes, but they will be in bondage for 400 years. Mm. Then I will come after 400 years. Why? He said, because the cup of the Amorites is not full. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, other people in your vision are factored into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. How come you didn't know that? You just think because you saw it, it must happen now. When the people you know, and the vision was not just only you. It was about probably you and some other people. Yes, sir. And you, you were so selfish, you couldn't factor in their own destiny time yes, into the vision. That's yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. That's true. Okay, I just told you, I saw the vision of my own burial. Does it mean I'm dying now? No. No, sir. Because the people that I saw at the burial, their own time has to be fulfilled too. Yes, yes sir. Before that event takes place. Wow. Yes, sir. And it may take a very while. A yes, long while yes. because of the people that we saw. Wow. Yes, the Lord said to Abraham, the cup of the Amorites is not full yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. And during that period, Pharaoh's rose yes, from age to age. Yes. In that period, Joseph came and became prime minister. Yes. Yes, sir. And yet you are so selfish not to acknowledge. Other people whose dreams need to be fulfilled before your own vision comes to pass. See? And yet, in all your hastiness, question, what have you really achieved? In your haste, you are always in a hurry, as though something is chasing you. But what have you achieved? In all your haste, what have you achieved? Yeah. It's like you seeing a vision of you getting married and having children. Question, how old are you? Do you have economically what it takes to raise a family? No. So that would tell you that that vision, it will take a while before it comes to pass. Yes, you should have sense to know. Except now, maybe Susanna that you are dating now, you just... You know, so I didn't know how it happened though. My condom just busted. How can it bust? So I said, no, but there was, there was one fool like that who was arguing with the lady he impregnated. He said, he was telling me, I didn't do much. I said, must you do much? <laughs> must you do much? I said, I'm not even fighting you over the matter. But the lady said, you are the person that I've been with. He said, how can that be? I said, how can you say, how can that be? You just acknowledge that you did something. He said, but I didn't do much. I said, where is it written in your biology studies that you must do much? <laughs> you have to do much. Is that what they told you? I said, when you were win, you didn't know you were win. You see, I can't remember I did. Okay. 
She's not pregnant. When, and when she gives birth, the child will look exactly like you. You know, the way God will do it. Because of your insincerity. The child will have even your fingernail, your birthmark. If your birthmark is a it will have exactly everything. Yes, sir. You can't deny it. Yes, sir. So I say, no, I'm not fine. I don't know why the child should look like me. Because you, God knows you will run away. You will deny. Yes, sir. That's how that child had to look like you. God knows. It's true. Sir. This guy. This is Mr. Benjamin. We need to corner him. Now, I'd like to read the scripture to you. Yes, sir. But before I do, I, I just give you like a, a synopsis when it comes to vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That it is not only about you. Other people are factored in. Yes, sir. Other true. people are factored in. Yes, sir. It's like somebody saying, uh, okay, now, let, let me come to prophecy. When it comes to prophecy, you find somebody say, I received the prophecy that the CEO will help me. Maybe even the CEO that will help you is still walking on the street without the job. Yes. Wow. And yet you're upset that what, the, that I received prophecy from the man of God, I don't think he's real. <laughs> Big dummy. Let, let's even ask you. I mean, you think about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who do you think naturally will be that nice to say nice things to you? Hmm. You even met a prophet who even gave you a beautiful prophecy. Yes, sir. And you're upset that what he said has not happened yet. What your own father said, has it happened? Ah. Your own biological father, the things he said to you, has it happened yet? Yes, sir. So I said, no, my father did not say good things to me. Okay, your girlfriend. So I want us to see these two things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because what I want to talk to you about is titled... Before I tell you, go to Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Mm. Habakkuk. Yes, sir. Habakkuk chapter 2. Yes, sir. When they used to tell me that God is going to use you greatly, I used to laugh. Say, God, sit down. This is first. And then when I was ready, I said, Lord, they keep telling me, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was even when I was not even expecting anything. That's when God started. And the first person we ministered to was the lady who was giving up to go and die within three months. You don't know the lady? And she still lived for up to three years before she finally decided she wanted to go. But she was already giving up. The doctors told her she has only three months. Yeah, you remember that lady? That was, our, that was the first meeting I attended. I was just invited as I was following somebody to a prayer meeting. And the, the woman looked at me and said, you, you, come and pray for her. Anyway, here's the point. Here was a mighty prophet by the name of Habakkuk. And see how he related with the Lord. I, I want you to see how he operated with God. Yes, sir. Because this was a prophet who did not have a church to go to like you do. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He did not have a pastor to minister to him. Yes, sir. His own work with God came directly from the boss himself. Wow. And see what, what he testified about. He said, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I'm reproved. That means when he's, when he's correcting me, reprimanding me, yes, this is what I will tell him. But it all depends on what he says to me first. Yes, now, notice the attitude. Yes, he did not preconceive what he would say to the Lord because he doesn't even know what the Lord will likely say to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, but I have to hear he, what he has to say to me first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that now will not determine what I will say back to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. See what he now says next. And the Lord answered me and said, Now write the vision. And make it plain upon tab tables. That he may run that readed it. Yes, now, sir. here he's telling him, 
Write the vision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you haven't even told me what the vision is. <laughs> I'm even still waiting for you to tell me something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It says just right. That means prepare to take down what you're about to write. Yes, sir. You didn't get what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. What you're about to see, prepare to write it down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, already, the very fact that the Lord already told him to write it down, meant that it was not something that was going to happen now. Yes, sir. 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 Why? Why? Verse 3 is our theme scripture. Yes, sir. He says, for the vision. Say it. For the vision. Say it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. That runs across every vision. It is always for an appointed time. For instance, I told you the vision, for example, of my own barrier that I saw. There is an appointed time for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And because now every vision has an appointed time, yes, see what it now says. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. But nevertheless, it may delay, it may tarry. Yes. That is why people now who want to think it's a lie. Yes. Because it it what? It delayed. Yes. He says, but believe me, that delay was because there was an appointed time yes, sir. Yes, sir. that vision yes, sir. Yes, sir. was supposed to happen. Yes, sir. So until when it finally happens, yes, sir. write it. Mm. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Mm. Write it. Yes, sir. But notice what he now says. Make it plain. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. interestingly, here, he's telling you something that Habakkuk the prophet had the ability to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He could interpret visions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, God did not say to Habakkuk, I will make it play. Mm. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, man, you are tired. That's true. No, no, sir. No, sir. You look so tired. No, no, sir. no, sir. Why do you look tired? Uh, uh, look at verse 2 again. He, he says, <sighs> write the vision. Let's read it again. Verse 2. Verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Make it plain. Who was he telling to make it plain? Habakkuk. Now, God didn't say, I will make it plain to you. Now, what do you think he meant when he said make it plain? Interpret it. Because a vision is useless without interpretation. Just as your dreams are useless if you don't know what the dream is trying to tell you. But God trusted that this guy knows how to interpret vision. Now, you need to understand. Here was a prophet, Habakkuk. You know, people think Daniel was a prophet. Daniel was not a prophet. Even though he had the grace to see visions, he was not a prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He had one gift working for him. Yes. And that gift is called the designing of spirit. The yes, designing sir. of spirit is the ability to see angels and demons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was just what Daniel had. Now, you need to understand now yes, sir. that Daniel, for every for every vision Daniel saw, yes, sir. Yes, sir. he needed to pray yes, sir. for God. To send an angel to bring him interpretation. Oh, yes, not Habakkuk. Yes, hey. Yes, 
He was born with the easy pass. Yeah. <laughs> Some men have lived, brother. <laughs> That's what we tell you. Some people are not your meat. Yes, sir, it's true. What? <laughs> like the bishop I told in New York. You are far my junior. Your grandmother will not disrespect me. Look at this one. What have you seen in your life? <laughs> Look at this one. They call you bishop with one big ring. You don't know Jack. I asked him, have you seen a woman mistreat maggot before? He said, that, that, that's nonsense. I said, I've seen a woman mistreat maggot. And we prayed for her and God delivered her yes, to the sir. glory of God. I said, have you ever seen a woman with a feathers with feathers in her armpit. He said, no, that's spooky. He, he said, spooky. <laughs> I, I said, then you have not seen anything. You are my junior. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, the pregnant woman that was brought to the house. Yes. yes sir. That was pregnant for three years. Yes, that we sir. prayed yes, for yes, and she sir. gave birth. Yes, yes sir. Oh, look at this bishop. You are very stupid ring, you say, because you are my junior. He is, ay. Brother, some men have lived, brother. <laughs> Some men have lived. Yes. Truly. Yes. Daniel will wait and pray and send messages to the king. Give me three days. The Lord will give me interpretation to give you, not Habakkuk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Habakkuk, as the vision is coming, the interpretation. Yes, sir. Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Yes, sir. Hi. Brother, we need those kind of people. Yes, not you going to meet your grandmother to tell you the meaning of your dream. <laughs> he says, the vision may delay. That's what we want to talk to you about, a delayed vision. <laughs> and here you are upset that what you saw has not come to pass. Who told you the Lord to, the Lord? ever said that the vision you saw was going to be immediate. Yes, sir. That's so true. And what you don't even know is that because the vision has not happened yet, that's God even giving you longevity. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes. See, now, see what he said. He said, make it plain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not for everyone. Mm. Because some people will still not understand. Some people will still not understand it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, make it simple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, the second time Jesus visited me in Skytop, he said to me, never preach in complex language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He told me that. Always make your message simple. Yes, yes sir. Like I did, he said. Yes, sir. That was where he put his hand on his chest. Yes, sir. We told you he crossed his leg and put his hands like this on his knees. But when he touched his chest, that was where he said, like I did. Yes, sir. So he said, make the message simple. Yes. We sat at the dining table. I was looking at him. He was talking to me. Yes, sir. He said, make the message simple, yes, sir. like I did. Yes, sir. Such yes, sir. that even fishermen understood what I was saying. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he said, any preacher who preaches in complex language is not from me. Yes, sir. Wow. He told me that. Yes, sir. No matter who they are. You preach, 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 and the people don't even understand what you are saying. And Jesus said, it's not from me. Yes, and I will tell you, when I used to preach, you know people think, oh, Brother C does not shout, does not shout like Papa Joshua Aguilar, like others. <laughs> Those who knew me when we first started yes, sir. Yes, sir. will tell you I never used to use mic. You could hear me down the street yes, from basement. It was Jesus, that visit. He was not the one who said, Stop preaching over the people's head and spitting on their heads. Mm. <laughs> That's what he told me. Talk to them. They are not your enemies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then he told me, and I've told you this many times. He said, don't ever try to convince people. It's true. Yeah. Just tell them the truth. It will be up to them to choose what they want to believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He told me that. I don't try to convince people. Before in Nigeria, if I'm preaching to you and you don't listen, I will not let you go. I will hold you. <laughs> And he told me, don't, don't do it. <laughs> One time I remember in Nigeria, I even cried for someone. I said, you must believe what I'm telling you. You must. <laughs> no, he said, don't try to convince people. Tell them the truth. It will be up to them to choose what they want to believe. Yes, sir. Up to them. If they call you a liar, don't get offended. I'm not offended. 
Now, here's the point. He said, make it simple. Say it. Make, make it, it simple. simple. Can you make your gospel simple? Yes, sir. When you want to talk to your colleague at work yes, about even why they should follow you to church, can you make it simple for them? To yes, sir. Because going to club is very simple to say. But coming to church can be very challenging to say. Because your own life is not even making it simple. Would you come to church with me and the person is looking at you? You. You just called me, you just said waka to me. You called me a bastard. You just called me a nigger and you are telling me to follow you to church. <laughs> nigger church. <laughs> Spooky Christian. <laughs> Spooky bishop. That's spooky. Oh my god. <laughs> I like the way Americans talk sometimes. It always makes me laugh. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> I love them a lot. I love Americans. Now, notice. He said, make it simple. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. So visions can be simple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the simplicity of a vision is not for everyone. Oh. He said, the simplicity of the vision is for those who are already running, not those who are waiting for interpretation first. Oh. Those. That he may run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That readed it. Yes. Make it plain for the one who is ready to run. Yes. Visions are not for the preparing. They are for the one who is already prepared. Yes, sir. And you don't look like someone who is already prepared and you are angry that your vision has not come to pass yet. Why have your dreams not come true? Are you even ready? It's true. Let me ask you, are you even ready? Are you ready? <laughs> you didn't even answer me. Are you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> see, see, some of you are just looking at you. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm ready. Instead of yes, sir, they say yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are doing soprano. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Yeah. He says it's for the one who is ready to run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see, visions, therefore, are not hard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is whether or not you are ready yes, sir. to use it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's for your use. Yes, sir. He says so that the one who reads it, he didn't even say who reads it and understands it. Mm. Oh, yeah. The one who already made it simple yes, sir. has already given you the understanding because of, by you reading it. Yes, sir. That's what we do when we come to preach, yes, teach you. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I never saw, saw it like that in the Bible. That's what my calling is for, to make it simple for yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yet you are still not ready. Ah, Lord. But does he still pray for me? Still pray for me because I, I really want to do it. I just need, I just need, I just need God to open my way. Bring your head. Why are you like this? He never said the one who started running has finished the race. Because he says it will linger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to keep running with it. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So why did you stop? Why are you complaining? God gave a vision to Moses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want these people to come out of Egypt to come and serve me. Yes, sir. But first, I need to take them to the promised land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, by calculation today, you will discover that the promised land was actually a 40 days journey. Right. Yes, but sir. God made it a 40 oh, year yes. journey. Yes, sir. Wow. Because what was waiting for them in the promised land needed to grow. Oh. It was a land where giants were farmers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
The Bible says one cluster of grape was carried by 12 men. Cluster one was carried by 12 men. One cluster. Not many clusters. The Bible says one cluster. You know that your grapes. Those are your grapes. And you have different clusters in a bag. But the Bible says one cluster was carried by 12 men. Wow. What a land. Why? We've told you this before. Your size affects the ground you walk on. Because the giants, their size, their weight broke the fallow grounds. The land, see, God said to Abraham, Cause is the ground for your sake. That means that the ground can recognize who is stepping on it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh. And the very same God said to Joshua, wherever the sole of your fish are tread, yeah. it is yours. Yeah. But for Abraham, the ground will reject it. Hey, God yeah. forbid. God yeah. forbid. No wonder there's no record that Abraham was, sorry, Adam was buried. Yes. No record. The ground will reject Adam. But the ground will open for for, for Joshua and give him favor. And God said to Joshua in old age, there is so much land to conquer, but you are too old. But there are young people, God said this one, they don't know anything. They are fools. Why? Because Joshua was studying the vision from Moses, who was originally given the vision. And Moses interpreted it for Joshua to run with it. And that's why the Lord said to Joshua, continue don't shift to the right or to the left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay in focus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With what Moses has already given you. Yes. Continue. And then the Lord said in that Joshua chapter 1, that is the only way I will be with you if you continue with what Moses, my servant, taught you. Yes. Not what I will teach you. God never promised Joshua anything new. He said, continue, continue. Yes, with what Moses already ta taught you. Yes, because that's the only way I will be with you. Who do you follow? Who do you follow? You, you, you wonder why your life is not vibrant. Who do you follow? Who do you follow? Who do you follow? Check out who your pastor is. Who do you follow? Some say, you have some pastors today say, I'm not after material things. Then why did God give them a land flowing with milk and honey? Is it heavenly things or material things? And who even said you're after material things? Your conscience caught you. You know you are really after material things. Why do you have a car? Why are you wearing clothes? Why don't you wear animal skin like John the Baptist? We will see who, you, who will even come to your church. <laughs> when you are smelling like, uh, like, like cheap, cheap as in. Baboon. Your hair unkept. The anointing from your mouth. It's driving everyone. Even Wargeko refused to be a member of your church. <laughs> no incense. You know those kind of places where you don't even have any incense. They say, ah, no. Even cats, when, he see, when a cat is crossing and sees you coming, he will stop and look at you. <laughs> you know those kind of city cats? Yes, yes, they are not afraid. Yes. They are big. <laughs> they are niggas too. <laughs> no. See, you are talking about why your vision has not come to pass. What are you ready for? What have you even read? and understood about your own vision. Why do you think God left you in the dark? He never did. And God never said you must be the one with the vision. Habakkuk had the vision, but God expected somebody to run it. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. see that? Yes, sir. Somebody asked me, Brother Ossie, how about your own vision? Why are you, why, why are you, why, why are you following Papa Joshua Aguilar's vision? I said, I don't have a vision. <laughs> How can I have a vision? Papa Joshua Aguilar's vision is already working. Yes, sir. It has affected the whole world already. Yes, sir. Mine is even yet to start. Yes, sir. And I want to focus on mine. 
Yes, Instead of patronizing what is already working. Yes, sir. Remember that lesson, patronizing what yes, works. Yes, sir. <laughs> you are a fool. Who will hear you? How long do you even have to live? Someone's vision is already working. Yes, sir. And yet you are saying you want to, God gave me a vision. Okay, when will you start? When will it happen? <laughs> The Bible says it will linger. Ah. I don't want to suffer with you. I would rather patronize what is working. See? Yeah. It's like a boyfriend promising a girlfriend. Don't worry, things will get better. Everything will be fine. But you know this lady. The urgency in her life. I mean, she can't linger that long. Maybe another woman will help you fulfill it. But let her meet the one who is already made. <laughs> and, and why are you going after him? Is it because he has money? <laughs> why shouldn't she follow somebody with money? <laughs> Tell me why she should not marry someone who has money. Don't you want money? I do. Yeah, I, I want do. money. Do. Then why are you angry that right. somebody introduced her with someone who is already Rich. So say, money is not everything. Really? Wait, say it again. Money is not everything. Mm. It's the only fools talk that way. Money is not everything. Yet they go to work. Money is not everything. Yet they want their children to go to school. Whose child do you want to punish? Somebody's daughter. Who suffer with you? He said, eh, did you see Macintosh and Makela? They, they, they struggle together. I am not Macintosh. This is Binta. <laughs> you want her to suffer? Don't fool yourself, man. You're just unserious. Visions are there. Yes, they are already working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say you want to pursue your own. No. When will it happen? No. When will it happen? No. Some visions are already working. Yes, they are no longer tarrying. Yes, they are already in the manifestation yes, stage. Yes, sir. And yet you say God gave me a vision. Oh, my God. The vision God gave me. I don't want to suffer with you. That vision, it, in Nigeria, they'll say it will take. That means <laughs> it will delay. That's what we mean by take. I don't even know the spelling of take in Nigeria. When you, you hear in pigeon, this thing, teo, what is it spelled? Take a Y or T A Y, I don't know. Take. That means the thing will delay. But they want to let you understand the severity of the delay. They'll say that thing too. <laughs> when? I'm telling you, you are the reason why things are delayed in your life. You already see someone whose model is already working. Yes, sir. Papa Joshua Igila told you, he has been in this thing for over 30 years. Yes, sir. Yes, the vision sir. finally came to blossom. Yes, sir. It's manifesting. You now say God gave you a vision mm. that I should start my own. Mm. Ah, I don't want to suffer with you. <laughs> Let me patronize what is already working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we can see that it is already plain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man of God has already made it simple. A vision that manifested after 30 years. Mm. The man of God has already made it plain. Yes, and what was the vision? Turning ordinary people to extraordinary yes, people. Sir. What is hard with that? You say, no, God gave me a vision to go and liberate people. Yeah, liberator. You have not even liberated yourself. <laughs> Some people left church. They say, Why are you following Papa Joshua Aguila? Man, do you want me to follow you? You that I'm even the one helping you. The Bible says the lesser is included in the greater. We're showing you the character of vision. Like some of you, you are the one delaying yourself. You say God gave you one vision. Something that has not happened yet. <laughs> Abraham, when God told him about his generation, the vision, Abraham did not worry himself. Oh. That was in Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter, chapter 16. He, he went to meet Agag. 
period. He did not worry himself. Because God already told me, told him, it will take 400 years before it happens. Thank God, God was gracious enough to tell him how long it will take. Yes, sir. How about you? How about you? You are starting now. Wow. I don't want to suffer with you. Say it. I don't want to suffer. You are not quiet now. Because you are lying to yourself. You said God gave you a vision in business. Other people are already thriving in the business. That you are just starting in. When will it blossom? And you are not willing to even learn from others who are already blossoming. I know my time will very surely come. Eh, we know. He said it will tarry. So it will surely come. Eh, but I, I can't wait that long. Eh, you don't understand. You are the one wasting your time. Oh. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not making sense to you. You are the one wasting your time. Somebody engaged you for 18 years and still has not married you. Wedding is just a few hours. And engaged you for 18 years. Ah. <laughs> oh God. Your own is too much. Yes. Because you just wait. Just wait. I met a lady like that. 18 years. And I, def and I didn't know she was engaged for that long. What? I looked at her. I told her, your younger sister will marry before you. Some of us know her now. Hey. Since that day, she hated me. You know the lady now. She, to this day, she does not like to see me. Then she did introduction at Robot Tree, right? I thought it was a wedding, sir. Remember we went there now? Yeah. That was when we were eating porridge. We were... We ate the food, but I was, I said, ah, this lady is finally married. Then the mother whispered to me, bro, does he, it's just introduction. What? Wedding has not taken place. Please, professor, let him finally marry. I said, but I'm eating porridge now. <laughs> because I told her, her sister, and her sister, the second sister just got married last year. Wow. She is still in engagement. Wow. Now it's not like 22 years now. It's been some years now. Someone's vision is already ah yeah. 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 Why are you wasting your time? Someone's vision is already working. Don't even come and tell me God gave me this vision. He said you better shut up. Something your great grandchildren will manifest is what God is giving you now. Let's pursue what is already working. Yeah. <laughs> Such as I have. Yeah, silver and gold I have. I'm not trying to have. Silver and gold I have. And such as I have. That's what I can give. Yes, sir. The vision is not even yours. God gave it. And then he told one, write it, make it plain. Somebody will run with it, but tell the person it will delay before it happens. Another person, his vision is already manifested. It's true. And you don't have sense to know which one to choose. Yeah. It's like somebody saying, I was born in, in my church, so I can't leave my church. But you know nothing is working there. Nothing is working. But you know where you go to for prayers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, one lady called me one day. Hey, brother, I said, I've been calling you. You didn't pick my call. I said, because I'm attending to my members. You are not my member. Yes, sir. You are not my member. The future, anytime you have a problem, that's when you remember me. You call me. I pray God give you victories. Then you run back to your church. Oh, yeah, go and meet your pastor. Let me attend to my members. Yes, sir. Hey, brothers, it's not like that. You know, I was born in that church. I said, no problem. The people were not born. <laughs> Let me attend to the people. Yes, sir. There was one lady like that that died. And we told her, I said, God healed you here. Why don't you stay here? She said, brothers, I have to go back to my church. I do something for my pastor. Where is she today? Wow. She's already dead. And pastor replaced her. Yes, sir. <laughs> recently, well, there was a sister who came here for prayers, recently. <laughs> and she, she told someone. Somebody told her, actually. A lady in another church told her, look, don't worry yourself with our pastor. There's one brother who see. This kind of problem that you have is the only person I know can fix it. Go and meet it. That's how the lady came. And when she told me the person who sent her to us, I said, that lady, I've not seen her in years. She said, ah, she said I should greet you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I should greet you. She said, well, she said, she said, truthfully, you are the only person. I said, it is God that is helping us. She said, ah. I said, how about your own church? She said, ah, well, I said, please, hey, please help me. Then that other lady finally came. I, I said, no, she called her on the phone. I said, how are you? She said, fine, brother. I said, 
I said, you sent your friend to me. She said, yeah, brother, say, ah, it's the truth now. We know where solution is. Yes. I said, but how about your pastor? She said, it's, it's good with preaching. Amen. But when it comes to problem, hey, brother, say, please, don't be angry. You are the one we can come to. Patronize what is already working. Yes, you are the one wasting your own time. It's true. It's true. I, I will never waste, never waste my time. How long do you have to live? Say, this is my business. You know, I said puff puff. Only me can make puff puff or bum bum. The, the way you know, bones, right? Bones. So don't think I mean bum bum. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry if I didn't pronounce it well. You know what I mean? Bones. Yes, uh -huh. Oh, I'm the only one who can do bones the way it, it can be done. But somebody's already doing bones. Why don't you just learn from that person? Say, no. Mine is McDowell's. That one is McDonald's. <laughs> Yet you are using the same M. <laughs> you are a thief. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, God is worthy to be praised. Oh, and adore. Yes, we love you, Lord. So we lift up holy hands. Sing one accord. Are you sure your hands are down? Sing him blessed be the name. Oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. God the Lord. Yes, we love you forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Is worthy to be praised, oh, and adore. Hallelujah, so we lift up holy hands. He won a call. Hey. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. There was a sister, two few weeks ago, she came here, pregnant, and why did she call? You know, she visits from time to time, <laughs> and I've not seen her in a long while. One day she called us, she's married now, well, they are heading towards marriage, and she's pregnant. I said, you're pregnant? I didn't even know you're pregnant. And but the reason why I'm calling now is because the doctor said that I have to flush the baby from the stomach because the baby has no life, this and that. I said, no, that cannot happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come. So she came to church and we prayed for her. Yes, sir. Went back to the doctor. She said, should I go back to the doctor? I said, go back to the doctor. And she went back and the doctors were apologizing to her that wow. they are sorry. Wow. They are sorry. That the baby is there, he, five weeks old, this and that. They were sorry. You were there when I received the phone call. Yes. They were sorry. But now, here's the point. I said, now, God has restored your baby. Yes, sir. Now, we told her the name of the baby. We told her everything, the sex of the baby. Then I now said to her, stay here. Yes, sir. I told her, I said, stay here. Yes, sir. Because you are not under a covering, that's why the enemy yeah. is attacking. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm the one you called at midnight. Yes, sir. Stay here. Yes. Yeah, brother, I'll say I will stay. Uh -huh. Where are you? We didn't see her for a while. Oh. One night, around 3 a.m., she called us. You were there now. Mm. Call. Brother, I'm in the hospital. I'm bleeding. This and that. This and that. They say I have to evacuate the baby. Wow. And they finally did. Mm. People don't listen. They don't listen. They like hardship. And yesterday she sent me a text. Why did this thing happen? What? Who should it happen to? <laughs> me? It can't happen to me. They 
They don't listen. That's true, sir. Because she wants to be loyal to an uncle who is a pastor of their church. Yes. The doctors apologized to her when we prayed for her. Then I said, stay here. Yes, yes, yes. But you told me the sex of the baby and the name of the baby. So why did this thing happen? Did you stay? You did not. You didn't stay. And you can't even ask your pastor that. <laughs> it is me you're asking. <laughs> he didn't stay. People like hardship. Yes, yes. I've never seen how people deliberately walk into frustration and then blame God for it. They blame God for their frustration. Meanwhile, they entered it with their eyes open. They entered it. And then blame God. And God is looking. Look, look at this idiot. How about others that have stayed? Did anything happen to them? No. You, your own is go. Come. Satellite member. You know. You are receiving <laughs> reception somewhere. <laughs> and these people, they usually call at midnight. <laughs> why, why didn't you pick your car? I said, do you pay my phone bill? <laughs> you are crazy. Say, please don't be angry. I said, why are you asking me why didn't I pick your call? Do you pay my phone bill? <laughs> when I tell you, you don't listen. Oh. Is it because I pick your call? I will not be picking your call again. Please don't be, be don't do that. <laughs> a man of God should not do that. Now you know I'm a man of God now. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like hardship. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. I suffered before in my life. I can recognize hardship anywhere. Yes, sir. I will never patronize it. I will never patronize hardship. Some people like hardship. They like to suffer. Some people like... I've never seen how some people... They are in a desire to suffer. They like it. They like it. And then they wonder why the thing happened to them. I told a lady, don't marry this guy. He said, are you going to marry me instead? I said, I'm not going to marry you. You brought somebody to me. <laughs> and four months later, the guy was butchered. Hey. And she was pregnant. She said, brother, how's you? When she went to the mortuary, she said, my pastor told me. They said, which pastor? He said, my pastor in America. I said, I'm not your pastor. <laughs> you didn't listen to me because we were bankers together. We were working in the same bank. She used to be my boss then. And I said, you didn't listen. You didn't listen. Finally, when she was going to marry some guy, one guy, she told me about the guy. I said, yeah, marry that. That's the guy. Guess what happened? The guy, you know, they go to a church where they do HIV tests. Yes. So they discovered the guy had HIV. Yes. So she spoke to me about it. I said, marry him. Yes. Say, brother. How can I marry somebody with, with HIV? I say, auntie, it is not him that has HIV. It is you that is under attack. Mm. Oh. They put it in his body so that you will not marry. Oh. Don't you have sense? The first one died. This one, <laughs> you said your own is too much. And yet you will trouble me, you will fight me, then you will still call. I don't know why I even pick your call. <laughs> he said, but the church said I shouldn't marry him. I say, marry him. He's a good man. It is the spirit from your father's house that put HIV in his body. Oh, I said, but both of you, have you not had sex? She said, honestly, brother, see, we've had sex many times. So I said, and you don't have HIV. Do you use condom? Because I'm looking at division. You don't use condom. <laughs> yeah. She, she shouted. She said, hey. <laughs> Yes, now. Nah. She said, no. I said, are you <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it, it's, one, it's part of our work. I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. I don't have the temperaments of a pastor. Yes, so don't say, what kind of pastor will talk like that? I'm not a pastor. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a prophet. I see anything I want to see. Yes, sir. When she was talking, I said, don't you people have sex? I can even see the last I told her the day they had sex, and he did not use condom. Oh. She said, brother, I said, and you didn't have HIV. He did. Your, the spirit from your father's house is attacking him. She finally married him. Amen. On the wedding day, she still called me. I said, marry this guy. You are disturbing me. Oh. 
<laughs> she finally married. She's still married today. They now have children. The amazing thing is that she does not have HIV. The children don't have HIV. He is the one they are saying he has HIV. Wow. But after a while, we told her the thing would disappear. They checked HIV. No, left. Amen. That's even someone in Nigeria. Yes, you will see each other. Yeah. Say, so don't worry. I'll drive and go and see him. <laughs> you like to suffer. I don't Hi. Suffer. I, <laughs> I like that. I don't like to suffer. I like <laughs> I'll never suffer again in my life. Let me read one scripture to you, yes, right? Yes, yes. Isaiah 55, 11. I'll finish preaching. Yes, yes, sir. I, I, don't, I, I want you to go home with a surety. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That no matter how long the prophecy is, it will still come to pass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter who gave you the prophecy. Somebody said, are you sure it's the real man of God? You think we care? <laughs> say, I prophesy, do Father, let it come to pass. We don't care. We've already spoken. Hey, uh, <laughs> Spirit take control. Spirit have your way. I love you, Lord. Spirit take control. Oh, in our lives, Lord. Spirit have your way. Say, say, Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Have your way in the lives of my children. Have your way in my marriage. Have your way in my finances. Have your way in my education. Mandi, Veli, Akus, Sefraka, Scatters. Take your seat. This is the Lord talking. Take your seat, please. He says, So shall my word be that goeth forth. From my mouth, it shall never return empty. God is telling you the character of His word. He says, Anyone, not the one you read, the one that was spoken. He says, It never returns to God Himself empty. Yes, sir. Wonderful. So the word knows exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. And yet, you didn't have the head to pick it. Your head just rejected the prophecy. No, 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 no. God says his word does not return to him empty. As long as the man of God already said it, why did you doubt it when God says it will never return back to him empty? See, you made yourself broke. He says he shall not return back to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, not what you want. What I have said, it must accomplish it. Amen. Wonderful. God is too braggadocious. This is an arrogant way to talk. It is very arrogant to talk this way. And God is saying it without apologies. He said, my words don't come empty. Yes, sir. They yes, sir. must accomplish. Yes, yes, Wonderful. Yes, Which means when you receive a prophecy, yes, that prophecy has the ability to bring accomplishment. Yes, Not only to God, but to you first who received the prophecy. Yes, then God comes next. Yes, God says it will never return empty. Yes, sir. And here you are. You say God has not done it yet. When God said, my words know how to bring accomplishment. Yes, sir. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You don't know God's arrogance. If you know how arrogant God is, you will never talk the way you talk. I'm not even talking about the fear of God. His arrogance. Yes, sir. You think God cares about your emotions? God is that arrogant. He does not care how you feel. Go and sit down. Who do you think you are? God, if you don't do this, I won't save you. You are not the first human. Go and sit down. There are seven billion people. You are not a factor. Yes. Seven billion. Yes, Look sir. at you. Look at you. And you can't even say that to the girl you are dying for. You can't even say that to her. You can't tell her, if you don't say hello to me, I will, I will leave you. You can't say that to her. You can't threaten God. 
God says the words from my mouth. He didn't say an angel will make it bring accomplishment. He said it will accomplish. And you, who received the word, you couldn't allow the word, the opportunity to bring accomplishment into your own life before God next. And here you are, you are wondering why prophecies have not come to pass. Who do you really think you are? And why do you think God owes you something? Why, 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 why do you talk funny? You think God owes you something. The Bible says it is by his mercies we are preserved. We are not consumed. And you think God owes you something. You don't know God's arrogance. If you really do, you will shut up sometimes. You just like to talk. And you talk to the wrong people. Finally, he says it will not even bring accomplishment only. He says it shall prosper. In the thing whereunto I sent it. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. It will bring accomplishment and prosperity. Not the word you read. So, reading your Bible for one year will not do anything for you except the one spoken by the person God sent. That's the one that will bring accomplishment. But those are the kind of people you criticize. Say, Amen, Mo. He prophesied for me. I said, Amen, Mo. Let's just wait and see, oh. <laughs> see, you, you mock the word. What can bring you accomplishment? Yeah. And prosperity in life is what you are mocking. And you know your own words are very empty. Yeah. Someone say, I don't know, it's them, them, oh. They are the ones sharing testimonial. Are you not ashamed? That the person sitting next to you stood up to have a testimony. You, you haven't. For the past three months now, you've not shared a testimony. You don't know we're all looking at you. <laughs> we're looking at you. Here's your testimony. Like play, like play, January. Like play, like play, February, March, April. No testimony. Six months gone. June. They say it's summer. July, August, it's summer time. No testimony even in summer. <laughs> Fall. The Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. No testimony. Kyle, God forbid. That's not, that's not the kind of life I like to live. So decide now. Decide. That's why I want you to talk to the Lord now. You can't be psychedelic. You are too nice. And you are so nice to fail you. You are so nice to the things that don't work in your life. You are very nice to those things. And those who want to help you are the ones you fight. But you are nice to the to redundancy. Don't say, let's pray and I say, Father, I'm praying in my heart. Since you've been praying in your heart, what has happened? There's no such thing in the Bible as praying in the heart. So don't fool yourself. To say, I pray in my heart. It's between me and God. And it's true. What has God done for you? You lie against him. So I want you to pray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, ah, now I understand how visions and prophecy work. Yes, sir. Tell him that. Now I understand it. No matter how long it takes, it must manifest. I must patronize what works. Nah, nah, please don't deceive yourself. Listen. Don't say, my winter jacket is not letting me pray. Remove it. There's no snow falling here. Yes, sir. Pray. Yes, sir. I must patronize what works. I must patronize what works. Ah. I must record tremendous accomplishment. This year. I must have uncountable accomplishments in my job, in my business. In ministry, in my relationship, in my marriage, in my education, in my finances, even in ministry, I must record accomplishments, 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 and I must prosper. I must prosper because the word of God is active in me. The word of God is alive in me. The spoken word of God is alive in me. The spoken word of God is alive in me. The spoken word of God is alive in me. Visions will not be delayed in my life. Visions will not be delayed in my life. 
I know exactly what to patronize. Mandele Hishko Vila Kisha Rado Kofese Karania Kuse Mantia Velia Kuse Karede Katu Vasana Talia Koro Kosa Kete Mensu Visco Prati Vele Ketea Ele Tete Polia Kaparu Kasamantus Ronto Kasamandivia Viglis Confre Ketele Mengo Fosaka Palia 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 Palia, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Talk to the Lord. Let's surprise the villa creator. Gasa kaparo, vele kerede, gushka, ma supre, vese ketea, vataya, valia kush, 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 kese kete. Cooperate in the Katia, Casa Namanto, Felia, So Copore Kitia, Kuske, Konska, Katia, Mandus, Fele Krenda Geveskis, Caso Rekitia, Boto Prete Pete Kete Prondo Kuske, Tekitia, Cas, 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 Handos, Frondo, Frende, Skis, Caro, To, Sonche, Katia. Kush, Kisha, Palea, Co, Secretus, Mensi Frica, Secretoco Fretele, Keredia, Bataya Cata, Masala Carado, No Soprete de Veredia Cunse, Isagalamandos, Co, Secrenea, Que Soprete Ketset, Kusha, Cata, Maso Fretis, Kitele Grandos, Balia, Balia, Mando, Kofi, Ronko, Posse, Kandi, Kisha, Ka, Tekos, Monto, Fila, Tekus, Kis, Kura, Tekos, Compre, Tele, Le, So, Brenene, Mingataya, Ka, Sabrato, Velea, Mongo, Voskiza, Galia, Kuse, Kate, Pata, Ta, 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 Dalia kus menko fati kush 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 mans front tofel liska talia kofre tekeske kesu kusha talia fere keske kiza